Hey guys, costing, we're uh, up to five. We're still talking about expected cost postings. So what happened before is we, uh, we have the spring coffee mug. Uh, we sold for, I think it was $2,500. I mean, uh, we purchased um, for $2,500. And, uh, but we received and did not invoice. So what happened is that in the accounting since we have checked off expected cost postings uh, we get a uh, inventory interim uh, which it gets posted to so it doesn't get post posted to uh, straight inventory but inventory interim um, and then sort of like a, a purchase interim as well Uh, which is then $2,500. Uh, I'm sorry, direct cost interim. So it, it posts, uh, but only on the similar accounts as the inventory would get posted. Uh, you know, the, and the offsetting counts for this, what it would normally post if we didn't have the expected set would be inventory and it would be direct cost but you would also obviously once you post the invoice have ap and purchases so what we're going to do now is actually sell this product so we got it in we have inter inventory interim here and direct cost interim and now we're going to sell the product so we uh, hit uh, AR for sale uh, and then we hit cost of goods sold uh, and we hit revenue so let's say we sell this for 3000 for revenue, that gives us AR 3000. And then the cost of goods sold that gets posted, what is that? So obviously that's gonna be 2,500. Um, so it's gonna go out of inventory, 2,500, and the cost of goods sold, 2,500. Uh, so, so basically if this is, Transaction two, 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 and this is one and one. So it's transacting just like um, just like the inventory was real, except hitting the inventory interim, right? Um, then when we actually flush this out. Well, there was one question, does it hit cost of goods sold interim? Because there is a cost of goods sold interim in the system, and it does not. And you'll see that in the system uh, as we post in a little bit. Uh, then when we actually purchase, we post the, um, post the invoice, which is then three. Uh, it, it flushes out everything. So it basically... Um, flushes out this one into inventory. So inventory gets hit for 2,500 and then exited as well for 2,500 because we have that in cost of goods sold. Uh, and the same thing uh, with the uh, direct cost. Oh, that's really big. And then over to purchases on the AP side. So AP 2,500 and purchasing 2,500. So we're actually gonna go through that in the system, but it's funny, it's interesting how these things, um, it sort of uh, gets scaffolded up with this, with the interim up all the way into the revenue and then when you purchase uh, when you actually post the invoice it sort of scaffolds down into the real account
or, or fills in the scaffolding, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, let's, let's take a look at the system. This is getting crazy complicated. Okay, so let's continue with this. We have the posting that we did before, uh, where expected cost got hit in the interim inventory accrual offsets. Um, so what I want to do now is to sell the spring coffee mug. So if I go into uh, items, take a look at the coffee mug that we have there. I'm just going to take a look at the list, make it a little bit simpler. Uh, and we have the spring coffee mug. I got 1300 and uh, they are all in the main location. So some of them have the expected cost posting, some of them have not, but I'm just gonna go ahead and sell all of it. So uh, let's just create a sales order. Um, see items, just double check how many we have. We have 1300. So I go ahead and hit sales order. And create a new one to the um, Adatum Corporation. There we go. And for the spring coffee mug, out of the main location for 1300 and we'll sell it for 20 bucks. Okay, so now we go ahead and post it and I'm gonna ship an invoice and it's going out on 4-3. So I guess that's the date that we're on. Uh, nope. So we close this out and take a look at the chart of accounts. Oh, that was there. No need to go anywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna just refresh it because who knows, uh, it might show the old numbers. Chart of accounts. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and filter the totals by a date. And I think it was 4, 3, 19. And here we go. Okay, so we sold for 26,000. Inventory went down. Uh, the interim accounts have not been flushed, obviously, because it's we still haven't purchased the, I mean, posted the purchase invoice. So that's hanging out there. So as we go further down, we have uh, cost of goods sold going out for 6,850. So there is no interim getting posted in this case. Even though everything got flushed out, uh, the postings are still just hanging in expected cost and inventory accrual right here. Uh, so it does not hit the uh, cost of goods sold interim account. And so I just flushed out the entire inventory, which was 6,850. Um, and that's it. So let's go ahead and close out this purchase order here and see how that actually flushes out. So I'm gonna do that on the fourth, next, next day after. So let's go into the purchase orders. And I think it's the latest one right here uh, and so we're going to go ahead and post this out and just hit post and in this case we've already received it you can see that here but i'm just going to hit receive an invoice it's not going to receive anything because we don't have anything there but the invoicing is going to go through so now it invoices. Oops, ah, I did it on the third. All right, so that's fine. <laughs> okay, so that's moved. Uh, don't want to open up the posted one. Now we go back and let's go ahead and just refresh this. Uh, go back out here and go into the chat of accounts. And again, uh, oh, the date filter is on. Okay, so that's great. 
So now we can see that the expected cost and interim accrual accounts are flushed out. Nothing there, so that's out. Uh, there was an overhead applied account. That's because we did add the overhead applied uh, to the item, so that gets posted too. Everything gets moved here into purchases and direct cost applied, so it's flushed out of these and into these and into the overhead applied account. Um, and, and this is basically the net effect of the sale. That's why that's negative. Because we did have that sale going out for 6,000. So, so basically the expected cost and in interim inventory accrual get flushed out. It gets put into direct cost or into inventory and direct cost applied purchases and direct cost applied. Uh, and things basically look fine going through. See accounts payable 2,500 against purchases, direct cost applied 2,500 against inventory. You can see that in here. And then indirect cost 250 against overhead applied account. So that hits inventory. And then we had this 6,849.70 hitting sales. I'm actually curious to see what this is, but we'll leave that for later. Uh, that might be some rounding. And that's basically how it works. So that's how it flushes out the expect cost. And as you can see, uh, the cost of goods sold interim did not get hit. So there's nothing in there. Um, so it's interesting to know what that is why that is maybe if we go negative inventory the cost of goods sold gets hit like that that's we can try to figure that out in later videos